I cannot sleep. I don't know why. I've been having awful trouble tr trying to fall asleep. I mean, I'll lay there for like... I'll go to bed at 9 o'clock and I'll still be up at 11 just laying there. I don't know what it is, but... I decided to... Instead of force myself to try and sleep, just get up. Eventually, I figure I'll have to just get tired to the point where I want to lay down. But Mass Effect is in Game Pass, the Legendary Edition 1, 2, and 3. I'm starting with 2 because um, 1 I liked, but I didn't like the mechanics, and I know that they fixed some of the mechanics for 1, but I think things really started to pick up for the series at Mass Effect 2, and I wanted to jump, jump in and check it out. I'm playing it with the quality mode, so it's favoring um, the graphics over the frame rate, because the frame rate's fine. Looks really good. There's a cool photo mode, too, that I didn't know about. Which is pretty cool. Shepard's looking good. We're gonna definitely be using this photo mode on Miranda Lawson once we get to that part of the game, but it's pretty cool to be able to activate the photo mode and go through the entirety of um, part of a scene like this. Looks really good. All right, so let's go save Joker. So we just got attacked, and we thought it was the Gap, but it's not the Gap. This is a pretty cool moment. I remember playing this for the first time. This is why the 360 was so popular, because games like this were de facto exclusives. It's kind of like, you know, early PlayStation. A lot of third-party games are almost exclusive to PlayStation, or they heavily skew towards PlayStation. When you think of them, you think PlayStation. This is one of those games where, when you thought of it, you thought Xbox. The same with Bioshock. It's kind of a shame that that kind of stopped for Xbox, but... Everything looks really good. I don't really the big I don't really notice a big difference when I look at videos between Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S when it comes to, you know, enhanced games like this. I have a really good television that helps with image quality and I just I don't know, I don't see the the big difference yet between the two. I'm pretty happy with the S, to be honest with you. This looks really good. I like the way these chairs move. The way they would in zero G. That's really cool. That'd be a great screenshot, wouldn't it? Joker's behind this force shield. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The don't Normandy be stupid. Just like us if we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to. Oh no. They're coming around for another attack. I'd leave his ass behind. The ship has no roof, and he's sitting there behind a bubble shield talking about saving the ship.
you know, it makes me wonder if the character creator in Starfield, whenever that comes out, is going to let you create characters that look like the females in Mass Effect. I doubt it. Imagine being floating in space in a spacesuit like that. You're pretty. It's over. You're done. I mean, right there, you're dead. I like the way this starts out where, you know, you're kind of like thinking that Shepard's dead. Who are you? Who are you going to play as? Great opening, great game so far. There's an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think she's waking up. My god, Miranda's right. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Shepard. Don't try to move. Just lie still. That is the actress from Dexter, the TV show. She played Hannah. Lord. This is definitely not going to be the female image in Starfield. Not in 2022. again. She has a face that you just want to stare at. Wake up, Commander. Shepard, do you hear me? Well, Shepard doesn't look too bad. Right? Got them high cheekbones, those puffy lips. Some weird neck and arm. <laughs> weird model. Looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Okay, everything looks really sharp. Now, I don't know if this is 4K or not. I don't care. I just care about how things look when I'm playing them. So, this looks really good. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it. Those canisters by the door are going to full keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. How do I reload it? I mean, I really forget this game. Okay, there we go. Looks like they set up a barricade to try to the max off. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Alright, right bumper is warp. Y is singularity. Alright. Okay. Feels really good, really smooth. Everything looks good. This is the game you want to start with in this uh, Legendary Edition. How the hell do I put the damn weapon away? Um, Alright. I don't remember how to put the weapon away. I just want to look around, check out everything. Again, this is the the graphics mode, so there's a frame rate mode too that is supposed to allow you to play at 60 frames per second. I'm not noticing a big difference or a big deal here playing what I'm assuming is 30 frames a second. Oh, yeah. Who shoot me? Oh, shit.
Oh, that was weird. You hold the right trigger as opposed to keep tapping it. I forgot. See, I'm forgetting a, a lot about how to play this game. Like how to put the damn weapon away. So it's not going to be... Ah, okay. It's the back button. Nice. More reinforcements heading your way. Grab the grenade launcher off. Here come the mechs. Use the grenade launcher to take them out. We've been spotted. <laughs> Talking about the Lazarus project bringing Shepard back from the dead. That's cool. Mm, that's strong glass. Incoming. Here for Hostiles detected. Damn it! You think this is pretty, pretty impressive facial animations for the Xbox 360 Things era. Be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Well, either way, like we're gonna sit here and ask a few questions in the middle of battle. Why are they attacking? It's your station, Jake. Like, come on. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. <laughs> we're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. Remember, this is a great package, and if you subscribe to Game Pass, it's there. If you don't, buy it, because it's worth owning all of these games forever. I actually own this. Um, it is in Game Pass, but I bought it, so I like having them, and I can play them forever.